Hi, today we are going to discuss an important concept which is called redundancy and replication. In today's digital age, the importance of reliable and robust systems cannot be overstated. One key aspect of designing such systems, primarily in the distributed, distri uh, distributed systems world, is the concept of redundancy and replication. So what is redundancy? Redundancy is the duplication of critical component of a system to remove any single point of failure, right? So let's start by looking at a simple system, right? Like this one. It has a single component, a user is requesting, it is going via load balancer and it is coming to the component, to the service, and it is able to function. Now what happens if this component, if the service in the backend fails, right? As you can see, if this, since this is the only component, it will not be able to respond back to any request, right? So which means the entire system is going down. This can be a major problem, especially for mission critical systems like power grids, healthcare system, financial networks, right? So this is a very critical problem. This is where redundancy comes in. What we can do is we can actually add multiple components uh, in the service layer. So even if one of the components are not able to function, so that component will be responding and it is not able to function. However, that doesn't mean that our overall application is down because there is another redundant component which is the same function and that can still serve the requests, right? And these two components are basically the redundant components, right? So this is where redundancy is very critical. And in any kind of distributed application or any kind of system design, redundancy is one of the key aspects. Now let's look at replication. Replication is duplication of data to multiple locations. So redundancy was duplication of components, that is services to multiple uh, uh, regions or multiple availability zones or at least basically duplicating the entire service so that if one component fails, the other component can basically function. But replication is replication of data. It's not the service, it's the data, right? So how does that happen? So let's say we have a master database and then we have three replicas of the same master database. Now say if a request is coming to a master database, the master database is able to serve the request or maybe write or update in the database and responding back the request, right? Asynchronously, the same data or this operation can now be copied over to the replica systems, right? So this is one way to achieve uh, replication, data replication. There are multiple types in which replication can happen. The way one, that we saw was the asynchronous, but one of the ways is obviously synchronously, where you, if you are writing to the database, then that first replicates to all the uh, replicas and then responds back to the system, right? That is a synchronous way. Asynchronous is the way that we saw. Then there are single master system. The component, the uh, example that we saw here is a single master, right? We have only one master where you know, the major kind of application updates are mainly happening at one location and then propagating to all the other replicas. But there can also be a multi-master. Multi-master means where it basically allows the data to be updated at multiple databases, multiple locations at the same place. And then once all those databases are updated, all of those updates are then propagated to all the other replicas, replicas of those master databases, right? So there are multiple ways of applying replication, but data replication, primarily backups, mainly in database management systems, this is a very critical piece because, and if you're providing any kind of, you know, uh, application which where data is critical, for example, in fact, every application data is very critical. Data loss is obviously not something that you want, but if you're providing a service as data, like data as a service, like some kind of storage systems, right? At that point of time, this is highly critical and major of the system providers or cloud providers today have multiple replicas of the master data because otherwise if one replica goes out, they should be able to serve the data, right? It cannot be that if one, one master goes down, then the data is completely inavailable. That is completely uh, an use case that cannot be uh, accepted. So replication is another key component and key aspect of system design. Now let's look at the different benefits that uh, these rep replication and redundancy brings to uh, to the table, right? First is improve reliability and availability, 
uh, obviously you can understand that it ensures that a system continues to function right even if one or more component fails same with the database even if one or more replica fails or if the master database fails you should be able to move the data from the replica to the master so reliability and availability is definitely uh, improved it provides increased fault tolerance like redundant components can uh, can take over the function of failed components right like if like we saw one of the components was failing but the application was overall system was still able to function so it improves fault tolerance improves performance like some types of redundancy like for example the one that we saw had a load balancer so load balancing like that can improve the performance of the of a system by distributing the requests and the workloads across multiple components right and we have uh, discussed in detail about load balancing types of load balancing what are the algorithms in a different video i'll give the link below uh, do check that out also the next benefit is increased scalability now one of the things uh, that it makes easier is to scale a system right now obviously if you have multiple redundant components you should be able to add more components or remove a component without this uh, without disturbing or disrupting the entire application right? that should be very easy so scalability is obviously uh, increased security uh, yes mul having multiple copies of same critical data for example right whenever you're doing replication or multiple components basically provides a way of improving the security of a system because there are multiple ways of accessing the data right so if one of the access pattern is lost you should be able to get the data from another system so basically your application is still able to function and the last but not the least is cost saving now it might look like uh, the system is uh, taking more cost it is more costly uh, to create the system but you have to think in terms of cost in terms of downtime right if you don't have redundancy in place one component and if you're depending on one component or one database what is the cost of the entire application if that component goes down right what is the cost of repair what is the cost of replacement right so even if it might cost more to add more uh, components to the system uh, add in a broader scheme bigger scheme of things when you are running a multi huge workload system or a mission critical system uh, the cost in that uh, manner is much less than if it were to go down right so that was replication and redundancy hopefully it was useful